1999 wide AM Lincoln sent. Graded as MS67 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the reverse of this business strike coin was struck with a reverse proof die accidentally. There are three recognized dates for the Lincoln Cent business strike cents which display a proof reverse design. These are the 1998, 1999, and 2000 wide AM business strike cents. The 1999 wide AM is by far the scarcest of the three. As of 2009, this coin commands over $100 even in the lowest condition. Furthermore, Thousands of examples of this variety are probably still in circulation. The 1999 wide AM cents can be found in mint state grades and higher with some searching. However, examples in mint state grades will cost several hundred dollars. In grades of MS66 and higher, they usually command about $1,000. Coins graded in MS67 will bring about $2,000, with MS68 graded examples bringing in about $4,000 and higher. This MS67 specimen ended up selling for $999.99 with buyer's fee. Number 7. 1952 S. Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS67 full steps by NGC. According to grading service, the typical 1952 S. Nickel is weakly struck at its centers and may reveal shallow lettering from overpolishing of the dies to extend their useful lives. Often seen as luster that is smooth but not especially bright. Coins having either 5FS or 6FS are rare. The few repunched mint mark dies documented for this issue are of little interest to anyone outside of variety specialists. This specimen fetched a sum of $2,280. Number 6. 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. Highly sought after Superbird variety. According to Jamie Hernandez, in 1952 there were not that many channels to watch, so most people who owned a TV were very familiar with the very popular Superman TV show. It is strongly believed that a Mint employee, who was probably also a big fan of Superman himself, deliberately struck an S Mint mark on the reverse die of a 1952 proof Washington quarter. Consequently, all 1952 proof quarters struck from this die also contain the S Mint mark on the Eagle's chest. Because of the prominent S Mint mark located on the Eagle's chest, this popular variety is now widely recognized as the Superbird variety. It was sold for $4,000.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1961 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS66 full steps by PCGS. There is no doubt that Mint State 1961 Jefferson Nickels are easy to locate. However, everything changes when the strike is considered. PCGS has certified more than 1,300 nickels, yet only 24 of those submissions are designated as full steps. Delicate gold toning appears over the satiny gray luster of this lovely premium gem. This specimen was sold for $5,520. Number 4. 1958D Washington Quarter Dollar. Graded as MS68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, Rose, Pine Green, Gold, and Magenta are among the rich and vibrant colors that adorn this rare top-grade 1958D Washington Quarter. The strike is sharp, and glistening, satiny surfaces are devoid of bothersome abrasions. It was sold for $8,400. Number 3. 1956 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR68 Plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, as the prices for proof sets since 1936 continued to enjoy spectacular growth, sales of the 1956 set nearly doubled from the previous year. Much of this was pure speculation, but the hobby was also experiencing a large influx of beginners. Fully red gems, including cameo specimens, are available in sufficient quantity to supply advanced collectors. Ultra cameo or deep cameos are scarce to rare and higher grades. This PR68 plus gem fetched a sum of $9,562.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1955 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 plus read by PCGS. A sharp, carbon-free superb gem with exceptional surface preservation and satiny copper red mint luster. The 1955 Lincoln Cent is scarce in this lofty grade, and CAC endorsed pieces are rare. This superb gem ended up selling for $38,400. Number 1. 1917 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS66 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. 
as it did at the other mints, scent production rose dramatically at San Francisco in 1917. Due to the hoarding of S mint scents that collectors pursued for decades, moderately worn examples of this issue are quite common as compared to its Denver cousin. Mint state coins are not rare, except with full red color, which is seldom seen. This rare specimen ended up selling for $81,572.62 with buyer's fee. So that wraps up today's episode. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Take care.